What is good, it's Reputate, and today I'm going to show you how to greatly reduce your ping in Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 4 with some simple and easy tricks. Be sure to drop a like if these tips helped you, and without further ado, let's get right into the video. For this first step, what you're going to want to do is come right down here to the little internet symbol. By the way, wired internet is going to be faster and better than wireless. We're going to talk about that later in the video, but you're going to right click on this and hit open network and internet settings. And then once you open this, you're going to see a little thing here that says network and sharing center. You're going to want to left click that and this will pop up. And then from here, what you're going to want to do is a little ethernet. If Again, if you're using wired internet, you're going to want to click on that. And right here, once you open up this, you're going to want to click properties. And you're going to see this thing, internet protocol version 4, right here. You're going to want to go into the properties within here. And now I'm going to show you what changes you're going to make. Now what you're going to want to do is check and see which DNS server works best for you and I'm going to show you how to do that. So you're going to click the Windows key and type in command prompt and you may have to right click it and run as an administrator but I'm just going to left click it. And from here you're going to test two different DNS servers and see which one works best for you. So there's a Cloudflare one and a Google one and here's what you're going to want to do. You're going to want to type in ping, P-I-N-G space in the first one, 1.1.1.1, just like so. And then you want to going to click enter. And it's going to run a little internet test in a sense, but all you got to do is worry about these three numbers right here that pop up last. And we're going to do this four different times. The next one, ping 1.0.0.1, enter. It's going to do the same thing again. And give three different numbers and again you're going to want to do a different one ping 8.8.8.8 run it again and one last one ping space 8.8.4.4 and again going to run it one last time and as you can see, each one gave a different output of numbers. And what you're going to want to do is see out of the four of these, which one gave you the lowest values. Well, not so much out of the four, but did these two right here give you the lower values and numbers? Or did these two right here give you the lower values? And let's look for me. So I'd say overall, these first two, which is the the ones that start in a one are the Cloudflare servers. These ones seem to give me the lowest values overall. So I'm going to go with these ones, but it's going to be different for everyone. You, you guys might be lower in these two, and I'm going to show you what to do next. So after you run all four of these, you got to ask yourself, are the first two commands you typed in giving you a lower, on average, last three digits than the ones that started with the eight or these last two giving you slightly lower digits than these ones right here and for an example for me the ones that start with a one they give me slightly lower digits which is good for ping so here's what i'm gonna do so i'm gonna go back to this window here where we were and i'm gonna click use the following dns server address and as you see the ones with the one you're just gonna type them in one point one point one point one and then one point zero point zero point one and you're gonna click OK now this will put me on the server that's better instead of just automatically doing whatever it does so this should hopefully help reduce my ping slightly if not even greatly and by the way, after you do this and select OK, you can just close out of all of this because you are done with that step. As some of you may already know, a wired internet connection is going to give you the fastest speeds possible. However, there are different types of wired ethernet cables and I'm going to be explaining which one you should get. So basically, ethernet cables are classified by cat. Uh, the word cat and then a number like cat4, cat5, cat6, cat7 and depending on your internet speed your ethernet cable may be holding you back. To be on the safe side I would go with a cat6 or higher such as a cat7, cat8 
but I have a Cat 6, and if, unless you have insanely fast internet, a Cat 6 or above will guarantee that you get the most out of your internet and that your ethernet cable is not holding you back. I'm gonna show the specifications on screen as to exactly which each one does, but a Cat6 cable, just make sure your ethernet is not below that, or else it could be holding you back and causing you higher ping. Also, if you already have an ethernet cable and wanna know what number cat rating it has, just look, it should be on the actual wire itself somewhere or on the box. There's three main programs I want to talk about here that are the most widely used and popular. The first one being exit lag, the second one being called no ping, and the third one being called haste. All these programs are designed to reroute your internet and lower ping as much as possible. And the exit lag one actually can do things like boost your FPS too. But these are all very popular programs. I'm not going to go too into detail with each one but I'll leave links down in the description to each of the websites and you can look up videos on them yourself to decide which one you want to use. I know that exit lag and no ping do charge, however they allowed you a free three day trial. As we're haste, it's free and you could use it for as long as you want and it'd still be free, but I've tried haste before and it doesn't work too well for me. However, I'm in an area that gets really good ping, so I've heard a lot of people in bad areas with bad ping that it works really well for them. So you might want to try these three programs if you're in desperate need of lower ping. All these programs have been proven really effective for a lot of people. If you found this video useful, be sure to drop a like as it really does help out and I really do appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this with quick, easy, and simple tips. And with that being said, I'll see you next video.